What's up, everyone? Welcome. Thank you for being here. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're feeling good. Hope. I hope that they stopped doing the lawn outside. I mean, like, I, it's been, they've been doing the lawn for, like, so long. Oh, oh, okay. I actually shouldn't complain. <laughs> because one of my really nice neighbors actually is coming over and they're actually taking care of it. So, see, that's why you don't jump to conclusions. I'm here complaining about noise, but with a little bit of truth seeking, you see that it was actually for my benefit. See, that's what you got to do. Uh, Jane's Addiction. We had listened to Jane Says a little back, and uh, everyone said, well, a lot of people said, JP, you started with the wrong song. You need to go and check some other ones out. So I'm going to listen to the song Ocean Size off of the album, Nothing Shocking, released 1988, as that was one of the ones that was highly recommended from the band. And in listening to Jane Says, I had said, like, is this song representative of their sound? Because I'm not familiar at all with the band. And most of you guys said no listen to some of these other songs this being one of them so we're gonna go ahead and listen to ocean size hope you guys enjoy it and um well, let's go this is ocean size jane's addiction bye boom <laughs> changes really
Okay, Ocean Size. That was great. That was awesome. Love how heavy it gets. Love his singing, screaming, yelling. I love his voice. Would you guys say that um, uh, Perry Farrell, would you guys say that his voice is very unique? Because I think it's really, really distinguished. I think it stands out from other alternative rock, grunge, whatever kind of bands. There's sort of this like raspy yelling tone in his, like in his yelling and in his singing that is just so unique, I think. Hear me out, okay? I think that his vocals sound like a great youthful and energetic version of punk, of grunge music, metal, just all put together. His voice encompasses like all of that really well. I think that's, that's great. He sounds really, really cool. Love the dynamics in the song when it softens up and just moves into some tender uh, guitar acoustics and then picks it right back up. The drumming is phenomenal. It hits hard, especially in the beginning when they all come in. Like that, <laughs> you know, Jane says is the only Jane's Addiction song I know and I've heard. And then when you, you know, start off soft, I mean, because it does, let me pull it back real quick for a moment. Starts off very soft, very lovely, right? You wouldn't know what's coming next. You wouldn't know what's coming around the corner. And then before you know it, uh, you're, you're, you're getting absolutely slaughtered. <laughs> but listening to that, as heavy as it is, I also think that it's extremely atmospheric. Not, It's not that it sounds like shoegaze music or anything like that, but I think it has a similar quality in its guitar tones and in the distortion of it and the way that the music moves there. I, I think that that's just really cool. And his voice, I'm sorry I'm talking about it so much, but I think that his voice really elevates that um, to a, a unique level. I think that's great. Yeah. Okay, so this is more their style, basically, from what you've said. That's really good. I enjoyed that a lot. Let's look at these lyrics, though. Ocean Size. Isn't Ocean Size also a band? Three, four. Wish I was ocean size. They cannot move you, man. No one tries. No one pulls you out from your hole. Like a tooth aching a jawbone. Oh. So he's just saying he wishes that he was ocean size. No one can touch him. No one can move him. No one can do anything to him. He plays by his own rules. Or that of the moon. I was made with a heart of stone to be broken with one hard blow. I've seen the ocean break on the shore. Come together with no harm done. It ain't easy living. Over here, right here. So he's saying that he just wishes like he was like the ocean. That yes, it can break, but it comes back together. I want to be as deep as the ocean, as the ocean, mother ocean. I want to be as deep as the ocean, mother ocean. Some people tell me my home is up in the sky. In the sky lives a spy. I want to be more like the ocean. No talking, man. All action. Sude, pseudo. Suda, sude. I'm not sure what he's saying here, but the lyrics say sude, pseudo. Sisa, studio. I <laughs> I don't know, but I do like the lyric. Some people tell me my home is up in the sky. In the sky lives a spy. I want to be more like, more like the ocean. No talking, all action. So I kind of view that as some people say, perhaps, I don't know the background. This is just me analyzing and coming up with my own opinion and thoughts. Uh, perhaps some people are saying he should be religious or following some sort of religious um, uh, rules or whatever. And that would be him, you know, going to the sky. And he says, no. Nope. I'd rather be like the ocean, ain't no talking, just doing my own thing. Uh, in the sky lives a spy, and I don't want anyone spying on me, and I ain't trying to spy on anyone else. I just want to do my own thing. I want to be like an ocean, be unmovable, and yet flexible. Just like Bruce Lee said about water. What did he say about water? Water takes the form of whatever vessel it's in, that kind of thing. So anyways, nice lyrics, great music. What else can you ask for? Except for you guys, too. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you'd like... You can also like the video before you leave. You can follow me on Twitter. You can support the channel on Patreon. Hope that you enjoy the music. Thank you for coming here. I don't know why I'm doing this. Or doing dramatic pauses. But enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you guys later. My hands are sweaty. I'll see you guys later. Bye.